Today, I'll be showing you on how to calculate fault computation. On the board, we have a table on how to calculate fault computation. Here we have from station, bearing distance, data notice, arithmetic sum for data notice, data easting, arithmetic sum for data easting, nothing easting, then back to your station. And we have four stations A, B, C, D. Then to station A, B, C, D, then back to A, which will be a close numbers. Here we have our bearing and distance for the four stations. Then we have the initial coordinate for station A, nothing at this thing. So what we are going to do is to calculate our data notice and data ST. In order for us to calculate our data notice and data ST from this formula here, we have L cos theta. So we have a distance as 70.18 while the bearing as 357 degrees for 12 minutes. So using this formula, we have 70.18 cos 357 degrees for 12 minutes. What do we have? 17.165. 17.165. Then to calculate for data you see. We have the formula that says L sin theta. So it's going to be 17.18 sin 357 degrees for 12 minutes, which is going to be minus 0 0.694. Minus 0 0.694. So for the next station, our station B, we have 39.51 cos 88 degrees 30 minutes. It's going to give us 1.034. 1.034 for data history we have 39.151 sign 88 degree 30 minutes it's going to give us 39.496 39.496 okay then for station C we have 17.16 cause 179 degree 17 minutes is going to give us minus 17.158. Minus 17.158. Why for the IST we have 17.16 sine 179 degrees 17 minutes is going to give us 0 0.214. 0 0.214. Why for the last station, station D, we have 39.03 cos 268 degrees 28 minutes is going to give us minus 1.045. Minus 1.045. Then for the data ST, we have 39.03 sine 268 degrees 28 minutes is going to give us minus 39.066. Minus 39.066. Now, after you calculate for your data notice and data ST, the next thing for you to do is to get your arithmetic sum, which is here on the table. Here we have our arithmetic sum. 17. If this is above 5, five. it's going to be approximate. If this is above 5, you approximate the value. But since we have value below 5, so we don't need to approximate this. So we have 17. So this 17 plus the next arithmetic sum, which is 1, that is 18. So 18 plus this value, this negative sign is not going to affect your arithmetic sum. So it's going to be 18 plus the next value we have what? 35. 35. So 35 plus the next value is going to give us 36. Why same thing for your data mixing, your arithmetic sum? This one, like I said, yeah, other time, we have 6 here, so this will be approximated to 1. So 1 plus 39 will give us 40. 40 plus this is still same thing as 40, since this is 0 and this is less than 5. So 40 plus 39 will give us 79. So yeah. So after you are done getting your data notice and then your data history with your arithmetic sum for data notice and data history. So the next thing for you to do is to work on your nothing and listing table, which we have here initial coordinate for data, initial coordinate for our notice and initial coordinate for our listing. So in order for you to do that, 
Here we have 713 275.732. You mind your sign here if we are having positive on this side, it will be added to your, your coordinates. But if it's negative, you will subtract it from your coordinates. So here, this plus this, since it's a positive value, is going to give us what? 713. 713 292.597 is going to give us 713 292.597 so this value plus the next value since is a positive value is going to give us 713 713.631 Three one. So this value now is going to be subtracted from this since it's a negative value. So it's going to give us seven one three seven one three two seven six two seven six point four seven three point four seven three. Now same thing as this. This subtract from this is going to give us seven one three seven one three two seven five two seven five point four two point four two. Is. Same thing for your eastern, your initial coordinates subtract from your data notice, or if it's a positive, it's going to be added to your initial coordinates. So it's going to give us this value, subtract from this value, we have what? 559. 945 945.277 point Now this value plus this value since it's a positive value no negative sign on it we are going to obtain what? 559 5599849849874.77.773 Now this value plus this value 559 559 984.987. Now, this value, subtract from this value, this is a negative sign. This is a negative value. We have 559 959 945.921. After you obtain your uncorrected coordinates, the next thing is you calculate for your misplaced value for each, your area differences for each station. Then after you obtain your area differences, you add your operator coordinate plus the difference of error. That addition of both or subtraction of both will give you your final coordinates. Now in order for you to do that, after you you put your initial coordinate for station D to A. Then you bring down the coordinates of station A, which is what? 713 275.432. And then this one as well, we have 559 945.971. So for the next thing now, this subtract from this will give us our disclosure of 0.004, which is 0 0.004. This as well, this subtract from this minus 0.05. Minus 0.05. Then after that, we are going to distribute the disclosure for each station. So the other part to this. Tribute the error. What you do is, yeah, I have a formula here that says misclosure in each station is equal to arithmetic sum of each station divided by total arithmetic sum over misclosure in nothing or listening. What the formula is simply saying is that for our data listing. For our data notice arithmetic sum, we have 17. For station A, we have 17. And then the final arithmetic sum is 36. The summation of all arithmetic sum, we have 36. So, what we do is 
So I would say, since we want to calculate the, we want to distribute the error for the first station here, for station A, it's going to be 17 divided by 36. Then multiply by your exposure here, that is 17 divided by 36, multiply by 0 0.004, it's going to give us what? 0 0.002. 0 0.002. For the next station, we have 18 divided by 36, then multiply by 0 0.004, it's going to give us 0 0.002. 0 0.002. For the next station, we have 35 divided by 36 multiplied by 0 0.004. We have 0 0.004. 0 0.004. And this divided by this multiplied by this, we also give you this. Same thing for your EC. 1 divided by 79 multiplied by minus 0 0.005 is going to give us minus 0 0.00. .00. Minus 0 0.000. For the next one, 40 divided by 79 multiplied by minus 0 0.05. Minus 0 0.03. For the next one, 40 divided by 79 multiplied by minus 0 0.05. Minus 0 0.003. Then after we are done distributing the misnomer, the error. The next thing is, this is positive, we have positive misclosure here. Why this is negative? So what you do to obtain your final coordinate is, you have this your initial uncorrected, you have this your uncorrected coordinate to your error distributed, then it will give you your final coordinate which is 713292.59 this is going to be for 713 713.6337 713276.477 same yeah. as this this is your uncorrected coordinates subtract from your error distributed is going to give us 559945.277 five, this will give us 5599844 five, five, nine, nine, seven, 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 zero. Seven, seven, zero. Five, five, nine, nine, so here we have our mistake final mistake That 559, five, this one, 981, the third one, D. Yeah. Mm. There's a mistake. Mm. Uh, okay. That would not be four. Okay, that's seven, right? Seven. Okay, I think it's one. Four. I think it's one. Okay. Yeah, we are done. We have our final problem. So that is how to calculate forward computation. On my next class, I'll be showing you, I'll be treating on how to calculate back computation. Yeah, today is for computation, but the next class is going to be on back computation. Thank you.